Hello everyone, this is Boston Bun. Um, today I'm going to show you how I did my new single, Nobody Me. We're going to go through the Ableton project together and I'm going to show you um, some of the stamps and some of the VST I use uh, for this song. Let's dive straight into it and let's start with the drums. It's pretty simple to be honest. There is a, a rim shot that's gonna act like a snare, an hi hat here, open hi hat here. This one is um, is something I sampled from my uh, tier eight, and I use it in another song. But for this song, I absolutely like smashed it with a uh, uh, with a side chain and uh, and uh, an OTT and 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 I bounced it several times to get that really noisy and weird song. Just a rim shot sometimes here and there. I think there is a clap as well coming from time to time with a massive delay on it. Um, but it's pretty it for the drums. Nothing nothing really special here. Um, let's move on and let's see the the, the bass. So the bass is a Korg MS25 from Arturia. I see the, 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 the preset is lately on top. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'd maybe I've changed a few things on it. But if you want to dig, go, go for it. Um, I put a decapitator on it. That's something I put on every bass line most of the time. Um, the preset I use on it is beefy. Uh, it's great because uh, you don't have to put too much uh, wet on it just to give it this uh, a bit more aggressive sound. Then we have the lead. So the lead is um, SCM. I use this one a lot. Uh, I like it because it's um, it, it sounds really analogic and it sounds really special. I see the 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 preset is called, it's called Evil Organ. I didn't change much on this one to be honest. Like go for it because it's uh, it's an amazing song. The only thing I put is a Slink LFO. Uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but uh, Slink LFO is a Max for Live um, uh, plugin that you can buy i don't know check on check on the internet it's called slink it's really funny because it gives a um, movement to every sound and uh, every vst in particular because it's uh, I, I like to to bring a bit more life to uh, to this kind of sound and uh, it's really smooth each parameter you can see here you bring it to another parameter from your vst for example what you see moving here is the brightness of the SEM. So the brightness is always moving a bit like that. Mm. I really like it. I really like how it works. I think there is another one. Oh. Yeah, I think I use this just to have a bit of attack. Most of the time the lead I choose are not that bright and I like it because they're not too bright. But at some point I miss brightness, so what I do is like I found a layer of just a really uh, precise and uh, um, really defined synth that's gonna make the attack of it. So you uh, you feel like um, you have the information, but uh, you're not annoyed by the brightness of the sound. I don't know if I'm clear, but yeah. together it goes like this. It's tiny detail but I, I feel it really handy to, to do it like that instead of finding the perfect sound that have the character and the brightness you're looking for. Um, there is another synth that is playing with this one. It's an Omnisphere. Unfortunately I've lost the, um, the preset I used because I froze it. But it's this guy. What you can hear is that I just put um, an auto filter 
on it that's gonna open at the end of every loop just to 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 give that that energy and uh, with the SEM it goes like this I don't know I feel it's a good match it's a good match oh we have the vocal of course so the vocal is from Jem Cook she's an amazing singer and I pitched down her vocal maybe minus three yeah minus three and um, I didn't put much on it because like it was the vocals were already uh, quite wet but I like it like that I like it to use it as a sample and take it as a sample um, I feel more inspired most of the time with ready to go vocal instead of uh, uh, doing all the mix and everything on the vocal I'm really not good at this to be honest so I just use a sous on it because when you go ministry sometimes it brings a lot of artifacts and some weird weird stuff going on So this is for the vocal. There's something else I just remember that you probably, I don't know if you hear it, but it's this thing. So it's just a sample of, I have no idea what, because I, I froze it and smashed it until you don't know what it is. But it just brings life to the song. It's already quite busy, but it glue everything together. Really like it. I really like it because it 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 really give a character to the song. So let's move on. I see FX. What's the FX? Oh, nothing special on it. Just an uplifter here and there. Um, no, there's something else I want to talk about. Is this guy? So this one is, um, I think is a pack of uh, 808 that I pitched and it arrives when the lead leaves, so it goes. So you don't have the notes, but you still have the groove, and I add this ping pong delay on it that that makes you feel that you're losing the groove and you're back to it at, at the end of every loop, and it leaves with a filter like this. Um, I see a pad. I don't remember putting a pad on it. Oh yeah, okay, it's just for the breakdown. Can barely hear it, but it's there, I guess. Um, and yeah, then I, I did a vocal, uh, I did a cut up on the, on a, a James vocal for the second drop. You cannot really hear the top line, but it's still there. I really like that. Um, then this is the last drop. It's unmixed there, so that's why it's it's messy. Listen to the song. I swear, I swear it sounds better. Um, what you can hear is I just add this guy. So it ended up in the mix really, really far away. It was just to bring another uh, layer uh, to the um, to the main lead, um, but it ended up very, very far away. <laughs> A 
and yeah, the last element, the last element of the song is this melody. I I I think it's omnisphere as well because it's frozen. So. And there is a weird pad too. So I I, I don't I, I don't remember which I don't remember which preset I used to be honest. But I really like it because it brings a, a really special vibe to the end of the song. Massive reverb on it. And that's pretty it. And the song ends up with just the 808 perk and the melody. That's it. Hope you liked it. Um, hope you have learned some stuff today. So this song is already out. This is my first release of my uh, new album coming out on October 25th uh, on Future Classic. And um, yeah, feel free to have uh, a listen. And uh, if you have any question about um, what I show you today, feel free to ask me. I'll, I, it'd be a pleasure to, to answer to you. Have a good day. Bye.